and we are competing against other men. Right. At the finish line of this race are the women that we want to fuck and we want to impregnate. <laughs> Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reacting to my man Hamza. If you don't know who Hamza is, he is a, uh, uh, I say a spiritual guider to all the YouTube uh, realms and all that. If you don't know, I have a spiritual channel. Um, it's just queasy. Uh, link in the description or comments. You guys can go watch that. But the title of this video is Stop Letting Other Men Pipe Your Wife. I don't know where he got that from. I, I think I thought his audience was predominantly uh, teenagers to uh, 21 year olds trying to get a woman, let alone a wife. So, uh, you know, let's see what this this man has to say about uh, is my wife gonna get cracked? Is my wife gonna get cracked? I don't know. We'll see if my wife will get cracked. Uh, let's see what advice he has about my uh, wife <laughs> getting cracked. Cause I, cause it, I, in the future, no, he might be a spinner right here. Cause in the future, I wouldn't want my wife to get cracked. I, I just wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want that to happen at all. So we're gonna see if, uh, we're gonna see if he cracks my wife. <laughs> That's not what I meant to say. We're, we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see, um, <laughs> stupid as shit. We're gonna see what happens uh, in this video. So let's just get right into the reaction. If you're a young man. Oh, I remember I watched the intro to this. I watched the intro to this on my last video, uh, of the Charleston White video, and um, the intro was crazy. I was like, yo, Hamza, I thought you were supposed to be teaching us how to, you know, connect with ourselves and get closer. Y'all, just watch this intro, bro. Just watch this intro, bro. You're a young man watching this. Hold on, let me adjust the volume. Let me adjust the volume a little bit. If you're a young man watching this, this video is going to make you feel sick, repulsed, bitter angry if there's women watching this video they're gonna feel hatred towards me like i'm a bad person i'm sexist i'm a misogynist i view women as sex objects if you feel those emotions whilst watching this video that means that my job here has been successful because the realities of the sexual nature of humans is nothing but dark compared to the lies that we've been sold and brainwashed we've been told that Dating and sex and love is like this kind of fairy tale. You'll find the right person. We've been told that, and you know through your your young adult life, that that's not really true. You need to realize as a young man, your actions truly have consequences. And there is a certain dynamic that I just want to make you visualize and it's gonna break your heart. It's gonna make you feel fucking sick. Most people you see on Yo, here- Yo, I'm confused on what this nigga is talking about still. Like, I'm hearing what he's saying, but I'm not hearing what he's saying. Like, let's, like, what are we talking about? Like, what, just, like, I wanna say, I, like, I, I know he's like trying to try to lead us on into something like, oh, super cool, but, or not super cool, or something like a real, he's trying to lead us on to a realization, but it's like, okay, we're, we're, we're dragging it a little bit. What are we, a minute in? I don't know what this video is about, we're a minute in. Um, he just told me my actions have consequences. With I already knew that. <laughs> I mean, if you're if you're if you're in your twenties or a little bit above, I mean, I guess if you're just like a college student just fucking off in life, and I mean, I guess you probably don't know that your actions have consequences. But like, if you're if you're on your shit, then yeah, you already know your actions have consequences. So I mean, all right, Hamza, what what else? I want you to see life as a man, as a competitive race. You know, we used to have like races when you, you know, you run around the track, 400 meter race or something. And there's a bunch of men running this race. The fatties are way at the back. They're not, they're not yeah, even fatties. running. You know, like that random kid who was just so fucking lazy and fat that he's just like walking and, oh, I don't want to do it. Really, really athletic guys, competitive, high testosterone, racing ahead. And the majority of men somewhere around the middle. How life works as a man in terms of attracting women is that we are all running this we are all running this race, and we are competing against other men. Right. At the finish line of this race are the women that we want to fuck and we want to impregnate. <laughs> yo, yo, what, bro? 
I he had me, bro. I was like, yeah, him this nigga spitting, bro. This nigga spitting, and he gonna say some shit like that, like, bro. This he's making it seem like we're doing this all for a woman, bro. The way he this the way he packaged that and and put it out to the world is crazy. Hold on, I, <laughs> and we are competing against other men. Right, I understand that. At the finish line of this race are the women that we want to fuck and we want to impregnate. <laughs> there is a certain woman there. I don't, I, bro, I don't even know if I want to watch this whole video because it's like, what are we talking about? Bro, I usually watch him and he's not like this, y'all. He's not like this, bro. There for you. I just want you to kind of visualize this race where you are, you know, you're doing well. But no, he is he is right about uh, us being like uh, like men being hyper competitive. Like I don't, that's a uh, misconception that a lot of like um, some men and a lot of women don't even realize is that like everything is a competition when it comes to men, and there's like people competing every day. Of the, people spend their whole lives competing um, to get the best car, the best girl, the best, the most money, the the house, the more money that everyone's competing. But uh, for me personally, I tend to not look at it like that. For me. Um, I'm looking at it like it's just a competition between me and myself and how much I can do. So I like, I can see what other people are doing. Like I can see, I can see, okay, like the, the very best guy, for instance, I can see, let's say, um, let's say there's a YouTuber or there's a, there's somebody that's like killing YouTube right now. I can see that he's killing YouTube and I can see what he's doing. Right. But it's, I'm not, I'm not directly, directly competing with him. I'm more of so competing with myself to get to it his sort of like level you know what i'm saying so i'm like okay i see what he's doing but i'm not like competing with him i'm not like pushing out videos and in, in direct uh in direct competition to him i'm more so just saying i see what he's doing i want to get there how can i push myself to get there so it's like it takes the competition out of his hand it, like it takes not not his hands it takes the competition and and puts it directly towards me i feel like that's a more healthy way of looking at it instead of just getting like competition anxiety from just looking at what everybody else is doing all the time and trying to directly compete with them it's no i see you in my peripheral i see how far maybe I, I see how far i can get based off where you got i can i see how far i can get but i'm not competing with you it's like if i end up passing you then i'm not i'm not oh, i'm not competing i'm like i'm not competing with you i'm really just competing with myself but i see the level that i can get to you know what i'm saying so it, it puts the energy right back into me instead of into my the energy that into my competitors hands you know what i'm saying so it gives you more of a a control of everything keep the race with like a good time a good position in the race and there she is she's yours you've won the race she's attracted to you you've attracted her you go on dates you flirt you have sex you build up this emotional connection you fall in love this is your woman you're years older than you are now. You build up a family. You have a fantastic life with her. This is your woman. This is your wife. This is the mother of your children. All because you finished the race at the right time in the right position. If you take a break from that race, if you stop for two hours, to watch that movie, to play those video games, to eat those drugs, to take those drugs, eat the junk food, to fuck around. No one will tell you the truth. Everyone will tell you that it's absolutely fine to waste time as a young man. The truth is that if you waste time as a young man, the race continues. Without you. The men behind you will run past you. Yes. You stop the race, go sit on your fucking couch, go smoke your weed. Play your video games. Watch fucking YouTube videos like this. Enjoy yourself. Hey, try this today. Is your very you see what I mean? To where like he's he's putting the energy into his other people's hands. Like I don't feel bad for going to sit down and watch a movie after I've worked my ass off for like a full week. I don't feel bad for that. And the reason I don't feel bad for that is because I'm not looking at it as like. Oh, he's gonna pass me. It's okay. it's like it's fine if another person passes me. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going to get to just because I have that level of confidence within myself. 
type thing. You know what I'm saying? And I think he's also, I think, okay, so here's what I think Hamza is doing right here. He is positioning this video to like, he's positioning this video in a way that's like, bro, you're going to lose the girl if you don't keep going. You're going to lose her. It's like, bro, I don't give a shit about it, the girl. And that's just, I think that's just me. I think he's positioning this for like the people that give a, a fuck about like if women like them or if, what they'll get at the end of like, he's positioning it in a way that like I'm working for a woman type thing. It's like, no, I'm really working to be, uh, to have freedom, number one, to have financial freedom and two, to um, give that freedom to my family and friends that are, that were close to me on this journey. And then I have some other goals beyond that, but that, like, that's just the two main goals for right now. And I don't see a woman anywhere into like my, like, oh, I got to do this and I got to do this. And once I get to the top, I'll get the best woman. Like, no, I don't, I don't really care about women, but I think he's positioning, he's positioning this video in a way that's like directly for the people who want, um, that who want women like that, like who want to get the very best wife because they've been getting treated like shit their whole life or like uh, i don't know that's like this whole competition for women is kind of crazy it's like it's just it's like, ugh, it's like it's like whatever it's like it's like doing all this to get a uh to get a woman is kind of like distasteful it's kind of like disappointing it's like what are you doing you're fighting so hard to get a woman that's how he's positioning this video. He's positioning this video like you need to work your whole life to get the very, the very best woman and and don't lose in this race or you'll never get the woman. That's how he's positioning this video. So it's like, I don't know. The way, the, the positioning of this video is weird. Maybe he's running out of ideas, but, or maybe this is just what his audience wants. I don't know. I don't really watch Hemza's um, main channel like that. I usually watch his unfiltered channel, which is really good, by the way. The men behind you will run past you. You stop the race, go sit on your fucking couch, go smoke your weed, play your video games, watch fucking YouTube videos like this. Enjoy yourself. Those men who were behind you have now raced forward. And in the modern day, we're told, it's, all, it's, it's okay, fine. We're not competing against other people. I'm just competing with myself. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> bro, you... <laughs> Yo, he just called me out, bro. He just called me out, bro. Yo, Hamza, we got beef now, bro? What's up? What's up, bro? You just called me the fuck out, bro. Bro, I'm not, I'm really not competing with nobody else, bro. It's really just, I'm, I'm put, and it's in a way that's like, there's no reason to compete with anybody else because me just looking at everybody, what everybody else is doing is going to get me sidetracked. It's like, Hamza, I. <laughs> Guy who was behind you races a. Well, I'm just competing with myself. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Okay. The guy who was behind you races ahead. And now that woman who was supposed to be yours, who was supposed to be your wife, who was supposed to have your... Ch and that's what I'm saying. He's positioning in a way like, I want this woman, bro. I swear to God. Bro, I swear to God I don't, bro. I swear to God I don't. And it's like... It's like, wh why are we doing this for a woman? Why can't we do this for freedom and, and our finances he's positioning it in a way that's like directly in lines with i'm gonna get this woman i have to work my ass off i have to kill other men on the side of me to, to get this fucking woman it's like it's, like, it's kind of cringe bro it's kind of cringe children is attracted to him and he fucks her and he impregnates her no one will speak to you like this <laughs> what i'm saying right now is so fucking controversial it's so dark it's so disgusting this is such a disgusting, repulsive conversation to have, and it is the dark truth of sexual nature. You can say anything that you want about me. He's he's viewing women as whatever, whatever the fuck you say, but bro, this is the truth. This is how sex and love and relationships work. As men, we compete against each other. Women choose the winners. Whatever you do, all these actions that you take determine your position in this race. And too many people will con try to convince you that it's absolutely fine to not race at all. To slow down the race, to just YOLO, have fun. Oh, yeah. Okay, so about those niggas. Stay away from those niggas at all costs. I'm talking about... Okay, so I have some college friends. Um, I love them to death, right? But they have this mentality. It's where, like, you... They're not very future-minded. They're not very future-minded. They want to party all the time. Uh... 
their main focus is about girls, which is fine. It's fine for their lives, but I see what he's saying here. Like there, there's people that are going to try to convince you to stop the race, uh, and 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 go backwards and and, and go backwards. And I think that is a problem. I mean, not even in, I'm not even trying to frame it in a way that like you're racing anyone in itself because you're not. Let's just see how far you can go. Um, but there are people that will tell you to stop growing in order to stay down. And so he's right about this. He's right about this. Um, that there are, you have to stay, you have to stay and you have to intentionally stay away from those type of people because they are, uh, they look, they look, they're looking at life from a, let's have fun now and fuck the future type of perspective. Um, and I'm not saying you have to drop those friends or anything, but I'm saying that like you have to be very conscious of how how you're spending your time because they could get very addictive to go to those like parties all the time and start drinking all the time. They can get very like not addictive. It could get very like, uh, oh, that was super fun last time. Let me go again. Like it, like the shit is like the shit is fun, of course, but it's like okay, you're you're doing this so much now that you're straying off task. You're like you're what what are we doing now? So it's like, yeah, you have to be very aware of uh, who you're spending your time with and what their intentions are with their time type of thing. So I, do, I agree right here. Toll. To slow down the race, to just YOLO, have fun. Go go out and, and get drunk. Drink alcohol every day. Drink fucking alcohol. Just sat there. Don't even go out. Just, just drink at home. Have fun. Smoke your fucking vape. Fuck up your cardio. Don't go to the gym. Eat the junk food. Enjoy yourself. It's just one hour of video games, bro. All those small things that you do determine your position in the race, and the winners aren't doing those things. Your position in the race, so, you know, the best position is like number one, the winner, all the way up to like three billion. Your position in this race determines the quality of women that you attract. I will say this again, make sure you take this seriously. Hmm. Your position in this race of men determines the quality of women that you attract. And that may be one of the most important things ever. The most important decision that you will make, the singular decision that you will make, which is literally most consequential as a man, is the women or the, like, the woman that you have children with. That is the single most important decision that you will ever make in your life, the woman that you have children with. Ensure that she is the highest quality woman that you can get. When you slow down, when you waste time, when you just enjoy yourself, you decrease her quality. Let's say if you did everything right, which is unrealistic, but if you achieved your maximum potential in an autistic way to calculate this, let's say her value, her, you know, her rating would be like nine out of 10. Amazing girl, not, you know, absolutely perfect. No one is, yeah, no one's perfect, but like, she's an amazing woman, nine out of 10. But then you spend a year of your life addicted to weed. And now she's an eight. You refuse to do cardio because weightlifters don't do cardio. Now she's a seven. You really want to play that new video game and you say that about every fucking new video game. Well, now she's a six because you've wasted so much time. You make some stupid decisions with your career, with your finances, with your wealth. Now she's a five. How far are you willing to drop the quality of the mother of your children? Because the majority of men don't think like this and it's a very repulsive way to think. It's a very like sick way to look at the world. The modern world around us has put like a very beautiful, loving lens over our, our the truth, our reality. And that's, you know, that's really nice to, to see this like fabricated reality to this society. As I'm thinking about it more, Chad, this nigga's actually spitting, bro. As I'm think, as I'm, I'm slowly, I'm slowly connecting his, his scenarios into my brain and saying, okay, what type of men get what type of women and what what at what status are they as he's continuing to speak and ex further explain because he came off very strong i'm like yo what is this nigga talking about but as he's like kind of putting in connecting these words i'm like yo okay this nigga might be cooking right this nigga might be cooking bro because you have never have you ever seen 
Hmm, how could I word this? Have you ever seen a plumber with a celebrity? Have you ever seen um, a nigga not at the top of his game with like someone of a woman of very high status? At the, like the top echelon of women. Have you seen like I'm not talking about like fucking. I'm not talking about having sex. Okay. I'm talking about like actually having kids with these type of men. I don't think I've ever seen it. So this nigga is cooking in terms of that. But No, there's no but. He's just cooking right now, low key. I mean, he had he had to further explain it. We're seven, we're 8 minutes in the video. I'm like, "Yo, is this nigga good?" But I like I'm 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 slowly understanding what he's saying right now. But like it's starting to make sense, but at the same time, again, He's positioning it in a way that we're doing this all for the woman when, I mean, yes, you, you do want to care who your who the mother of your children are, but at the same time, uh, I'm not, I'm worried about the grind right now. I'm not really worried about uh, the top echelon of women. I'm worried about how far I can go. But yeah, I see, I see what he's saying though. I see what he's saying. Now, after eight minutes, like, I don't know. You have to watch the video for eight minutes in order to understand what this nigga's talking about. So yeah. And you have to have a very open mind because I was like, at first I was rejecting it. I was like, I can see I'm that I'm rejecting his ideas. So let me get an open mind and let me start connecting things. What is he talking about? Where is he coming from? Um, and I feel like you can learn a lot if you if you have an open mind with, with with things that what everyone says. So like if someone is an opposite religion of you or something and you have an open mind around that and you're just like, OK, what are, what are you trying to tell me and where are you coming from and what is your what is your background? So. If you have an open mind when it comes to people like from a different religion or uh, from different ideologies than you or the complete opposite ideologies of you, if you try to take in what they're uh, understand them and take them what they're understanding as a whole, not non biased to what you believe in, um, I feel like that's you can grow a lot, you can learn a lot from um, from that. See that you know we're all we're all beautiful. We all yeah. This weak version of the world. It keeps you soft, it keeps you weak, it keeps you complacent. But the men who take off that lens, that blindfold, and see the world for what it is, and see this dynamic that, okay, the number and the quality of women that I attract, fall, fall in love with, have intimacy with, have sex with, is just simply determined by my position in this race. Study music production online. He's cooking. He's cooking. He's cooking. Is that? I want to know if that's like if that's what his viewers care about the most. Like women is all all of Hamza's main channels like pages or main channels viewers like they just care a lot about women. Like are they just like those red pill guys? That, I how, how do I uh, spit game to a woman? How do I talk to women? Are they like those type of guys? Like the fresh and fit uh, demographic? They might be of women that I attract fall, fall in love with because I'm still tripping on the way he came across in this video <laughs> like, like only a nigga with an open mind or those fresh and fit niggas can like really like after watching one minute of this keep watching that's what I'm saying Missy with have sex with is just simply determined by my position in this race that turns something on inside of a man that this male aggression this competitiveness that's been beaten out of him from his like childhood conditioning now you understand why i preach so much about competing against other men because they will try to convince you not to compete they will try to convince you that we're all beautiful and i don't that that fucking phrase everyone says i don't compete against anyone else i'm just competing no you're not Hmm. Stop deluding yourself. I'm not competing. Yes, you fucking are. Just because you're too much of a coward to understand that you are competing against other men and they are competing against you doesn't mean that it's not happening. Interesting. You can try your absolute hardest to delude yourself that you're not in this competition. That I'm just trying to do better than I was. 1% better every day, bro. Other men will fuck your wife if you have this attitude. <laughs> and there he goes. Bro, just they could have her, bro. They could have her, bro. <laughs> Yo, they could have her, bro. They, like, there it goes, bro. There it goes, bro. Again, you're coming at this in a way that, like, if if there's other men that can fuck my wife, then that's that's like that's not that doesn't that doesn't 
how can I say this? That doesn't like I'm still the same man. Like it doesn't fuck with me in in a way that's like that dilutes my character. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't. I'm I'm not quite understanding where he's coming from when it when in terms of that. It's like okay, then my wife would 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 have left me either way. It's like okay, so here's why I disagree. He's he's talking to he's saying this in a way that's like that's very like he's he's like he's attracting hypergamous women. Like you're 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 attracting an hypergamous woman. Now, hypergamy, in uh, in short, means a woman that will monkey branch off to the next best thing, um, as soon as she finds the next best thing. That's what he. That's what he. That so he's talking about getting women of higher status who are also very hypergamous. Because a woman who's not hypergamous and who loves you for who you are truly, and the type of man that you are, and the type of man that you're going to become, uh, they're not going to, um. They're not going to monkey branch like in the way that he's talking about. There's, there's, like I, there, there's not, they're not, they're like a woman who truly loves you will not be doing any of this, these like promiscuous things with around with other men. Like there are women out there who won't cheat, and that's why I mean why I think he's he's talking about a specific type of, he's talking about the fresh and fit. He's talking to the fresh and fit niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like he's he's not talking about the, he's not talking to the people that understand women. Like he's talking about, he's talking to the people that that only think of women in one way, in one direction. There's the women are like this, women are like this, women are like this. There's no other way. There's no in between. Women will always find the next best thing. No, there's women who won't always go for the next best thing. There's women who who won't always go for uh the nigga with the bigger bag. There's women who won't always go for the nigga with the higher status or more followers. Like no, there's women who are loyal to their man. And who who will, who will guide and nourish their man throughout the entire the, their entire journey, regardless of how much money he's making. And I know that's contradicting to what I just said before, but there are women out there who who are who will will, will hold you down. That I I think he I think he's thinking of women in such a one directional way. That's like yo, if you don't do this, if you're not first place in the race, so that's the thing. He's not even understanding that you'll never be first in the race. You're never gonna get. You're never gonna get to first place. You're never gonna. You're never gonna beat the guy who owns the, who who. You're never gonna beat the puppet masters, the the people who are above the government, the people who have who own all the. So that's what I'm saying. He's like, he's like, yo, we gotta. You gotta get first place in a race that's, uh, in a race that's impossible to beat. You're not gonna be. You're not gonna be, above the government, a part of the puppet masters, if you weren't born into it. So we like like what are we even saying here? Like the the people at the top 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 or the people just at the the tippy top of the top? Like what which top are we talking about? Like he's saying he's saying this world is so hyper competitive that if you stop to take a break for two hours after you've worked your ass off, that you're gonna be left in the dust. That someone's gonna come fuck your wife. It's like he's being very unrealistic, and I, that's how I know he's talking to the fresh and fit uh demographic of the, the audience. He's not really talking to like the the men who are competing that understand women demographics or, and women women not demographics women women dynamics I, I i don't know but hey to each their own i respect his opinion um i just think he's not talking to he's talking to a, a immature group of men right now yourself that you're not in this competition that i'm just trying to do better than i was one percent better every day bro other men will fuck your wife if you have this attitude. Just one hour of video games. Now do you realize why I take this shit so seriously? And again, this is a disgusting, you can, you can insult me all you want with this. This is a, such a disgusting view of the world, but it is the dark truth. It is the dark truth that this is how it works. This is how dating <clears throat> and attracting the opposite sex works for men. So you have two choices in front of you. L continue living the, the Jeffrey f fairy tale. Take and ingest the Jeffrey propaganda. You're not competing against anyone else. Just be yourself. <laughs> Just love yourself for who you are. It's okay to play video games. You listen to all that shit if you want. But understand that you deserve the consequences of your actions. And if that sounds like an insult, you're doing something wrong. Mm, facts. Or open your eyes, wake up to see the reality of the world around you, the dark truth of the world, which is so fucking, like, sickening to think about. 
and have this like sick feeling inside of you which which seems abnormal when you're a 20 year old guy you're not even thinking about your wife or you know having children but you literally like you feel fucking repulsed when you think fuck like someone if i like if i fuck around if i get addicted to drugs bro some of the guys gonna fuck the woman that i would have fell in love with <laughs> bro it's disgusting to think like this bro it's infuriating and that male aggression is what causes you to take action. It's what causes you to be relentless. To be productive, to actually do the right things. To not live as if there's no consequences of your actions like most men do. To live with responsibility. Yo, are we having a staring contest? No <laughs> Bro, why are you breathing at me? <laughs> <laughs> bro, he was, yo, we was looking deep into each other's soul for a second there. This nigga almost had a connection with me, bro. What's going on? <laughs> yo, what are we doing, bro? No one will talk to you like this. Everyone, 90, 99% of men want to stay inside of like the, the fabricated reality, the, the fairy tale world that we've been sold. Let them. Those are the same men who unfortunately end up getting into like a shitty relationship where they feel like they're settling. They're not actually settling because they're those men are low quality themselves, but they get into like this unideal relationship and it's beautiful at first. And then, you know, they realize that their wife isn't as high quality as they thought they were. They end up getting divorced. She takes the kids. He kills himself at age 40. Damn, bro. It's like, damn. Do not go to fabless.com. Why he take the why he make the video like that? <laughs> why we take this deep dark turn, bro? I get that does happen, but like damn, bro, you're making me scared. <laughs> There's one final dynamic I want to talk to you about, and that is that the winners win everything. When there is a race, if you truly imagine like the Olympics and the 100 meter dash, whose name do you remember? There's 10 people competing. Whose name do you remember? The winner. Perhaps number two, perhaps number three. But after that, everyone else is, is irrelevant. The winner of the race gets 90% of the rewards. The second in place guy gets 6%. The third in place guy gets 3.5%. And then finally, the smallest amount is like shared amongst the guys who are just not winners. That is how rewards are distributed in terms of the level of success that you achieve. And I know this sounds dark and I know this sounds like very different from what you've heard before. But it, this is the true nature of men. We compete and we take what other men have. Don't let Rex. anyone try to turn you into a pussy and tell you that this is like toxic. This is the nature of manhood. This is the male competition. We compete, we do better than another man, and we take what he has. So why would you allow other men to take what you've got? Why would you sit idly jacking off for an hour? Why would you play video games for an hour and literally just like me, say bro. to the world, yeah, guys, you can you can fuck my wife. Okay. I know this sounds toxic as fuck. It really does, bro. Yeah, but it bro. is the truth. It is the truth. Do not give your position up in this race. Fight relentlessly for it. And these little pockets of dopamine enjoyment that you can have right now that everyone tries to get you to do. Guess what, bro? Guess fucking what? The people who are pushing you to play video games. Do you really think they're saying it for you? Do you really think they're saying it because they want you to have some like guilt-free enjoyment? Or are they saying it because they've stopped running the race and they don't want more men to run past them? Mm. When you hear someone of these fucking like mm. dumbass self-improvement creators who say like, oh, Hamza's wrong because he says you can't play video games, but I think you can play video games. Why do you think they're saying that to you? I'm the one looking out for you. I'm the one who wants you to be my competition. I'm the one who wants you to hold me accountable as I will do for you. I want you to still compete. I want you to still run forward and secure 
the, the woman, woman. That you actually wanted. <laughs> I knew he's going to say that and shit. And he's weak. Bro, stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. This world is not just about getting the best quality of woman. Why don't you become the best quality person and the woman will come naturally? Like, uh... Modern men, these creators <sighs> online, these weak motherfuckers who tell you that it's okay to eat junk food, that it's okay to be weak, that it's okay to skip a workout, to have fucked up sleep, to watch movies and waste time and play video games and watch anime. These weak motherfuckers have stopped running and they want you to stop too. Do you see why I speak so fucking strongly about this? Bro, Eric, do you see that too? When we were staring at each other for like a cool minute, I was like, yo, what, what, we, what we looking at, bro? <laughs> competition is how men grow. And I'm tired of there being very little competition. I want my boys to run this race alongside me. I look back and just see how I've lapped 95% of men. They just sat there on their fucking couches. You can see where a man is in this race and also how like generous his mindset is in how he speaks to you. Okay, he's spitting right here because like you can actually literally when you're like when you're on your shit, when you're going to the gym and you're making some money through your business, when you you can see like that there is like that you're you're at a higher level than most people because most people talk so like like for me okay let's take an example for me i'm having a conversation with someone um you can basically tell how they think of themselves through that through this like the small conversation through the small interactions right um so like for me if i if i go to the gym a lot if i'm um if i'm going to the gym a lot and i like i'm making money in terms of my business um and i'm talking to someone and they're like very like Oh, I'm just gonna go like oh, I just spent the day drinking or like you like you feel like they're like bro, are you serious? Like there's more to like come on, come on, bro. Like are you, is that all you're worried about right now? And like you you'll start to you can I don't I don't know how to explain this, but you can you can visually see that you're like at a higher echelon. You're like you're at a higher echelon of men because you can see like all the people that don't really give a fuck about life. You know what I'm saying? Like and you are like like coming from one of those people, like coming from one of those people and then looking down. You can see that, like, though, there's a lot of guys who really don't give a fuck about life right now, like, early. Like, and then they're probably going to realize in their, like, 30s, 40s that, like, okay, I should have, uh, let me try to pick up all the pieces now. But it's, like, if you're grinding in your 20s right now and, and you look back and you look back and you start talking to people and you're interacting, you can literally visually see that there's a lot of people who really don't give a fuck about their life. And I see what he means by this. Like, like you can see the the 90 what do you say 95 percent of men below you like you can kind of see that and not it's not in like an egotistical way it's sort of like in a way that's like it's like you want you want to see them especially if they're friends you want to see them competing still but it's just sad that like a, a lot of them are stuck in this loop of life and, and but you 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 it's all the more you're all the more grateful for yourself because you're like damn i really got out of that I really got out of that mindset, and so you're like kind of grateful talking to these people, but at the same time, it's like, damn, I hate to see you, I hate to see you down bad like this, bro. I hate to see you down bad like this. Uh, but yeah, because those at the bottom, the crabs, the guys at the back of the race, will try their best to make sure that you stay there. They'll tell you that it's okay to be weak, that you know, exercise is, is a waste of time because they're way back there. Yeah, any nigga who says that is crazy, bro. <laughs> any nigga who says that just. No, just turn the opposite direction. The conversation could end right there. Because there's no way anybody's saying... Uh, what do you say? Exercise is bad for you? You weak. That, you know, exercise is, is a waste of time. Yeah, any nigga that tells you exercise is a waste of time, bro, you just... You could just automatically just... Yeah, you, we can't be friends. You know, we're... we're you know, we could... We could. Like, you can just... Because there's, there's... In what reality... In what realm is exercise a waste of time? There's, like, no... I'm, I'm trying to search and find a way, but you can just, to easily tell someone's delusion about life, exercise is a waste of time. In what way is living longer and healthier and looking better a waste of time? I, I, it's just like, it, exercise is so positive. The, there, it's just so positive. There's like actually no, there's no bad thing about exercising. But if someone ever speaks negatively on exercising, it's like, yo, you could just automatically tell we shouldn't be around each other, bro. That's how you, you could just automatically tell how how people feel about exercising, how people feel about 
living longer <laughs> and being healthier, if someone has a negative as aspect around that, it's like, okay, yeah, I know, I know what type of, yeah, all right, we could just call it quits, bro. Because they're way back there. But the men, way racing ahead, they'll want you to run alongside them. They'll, you know, fair enough, I don't want you to, like, run past me. But the threat of you being able to run past me is what makes sure that I keep running to a good speed. Mm, type shit. Once you get to like a certain level of man, you actually want competition. You stop being afraid of it. You start craving it because you understand, oh shit, if you compete with me, we're both going to run faster, fine. And then in the end, if we end up pretty much like side by side winning the race, bro, like I'll, I'll take my wife, you take yours, okay? Deal? Fine, but we'll we'll lap a lot of motherfuckers because me and you are gonna push each other. And when I slow down and I see you running forward, I'm like, you know, I like you as a as a friend, fair enough. But like, I'm not 100% sure you won't fuck my wife, bro. So I'm gonna keep running, and you do the same thing. You can't trust me 100%, bro. If you slow down, there is a risk that I might fuck your wife. This is so it. me and you will run <laughs> side by side and you lap got all it, these bro. slow motherfuckers who are playing one hour of video games because we've encouraged each other and we have this slight slight level of like risky competition. And that's what causes us to lap everyone else. You can see the level of man by how he addresses other men in this competition. Facts. Do not trust these motherfuckers who are telling you that it's okay to be weak, it's okay to play video games, that social media is not that bad, it's porn is not that bad, masturbating actually has uh, it lowers your risk of prostate cancer. Anime is actually really interesting. Uh, shut the fuck up, bro. Anime is interesting. Stop it, Hamza. Come on now. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Hope this I'm not going to let you disrespect anime like this, bro. Open your eyes. Click on this video to learn more right now. Um, I think he, I think his ideologies are very... Um, I mean, I understand what he's saying, but I think his finish line, like his end goal, like the finish line thing he was talking about, it's skewed. What, like, what are you talking about, bro? We're not, I swear to God I'm not doing all this for a woman. I swear to God. I swear to God, I, I could literally be alone my entire life and that would be fine. It's literally, I'm doing this for self-fulfillment. But I, I don't think he's talking to like someone like me. He, I think he's talking to the people who... Because I honestly, I don't watch this man's main channel. I, I'm not even subscribed. But I just seen that this this title was crazy, so I was like, let me react to this. Um, but his his other channel, his Hamza Unfiltered, he, he's, he's not speaking to the guys that are like so... so uh, so locked in on women like he'll he'll talk about like women here and there but he's not he doesn't speak to like people who are so like i have to do this to get the baddest wife to get the highest quality woman like no it's it's more it's more so about um understanding and and self-fulfillment and um like going through the hard work going through the grit going through all that so i think this uh this video is not for me um it's for the different type of people let's look at the comments though as a female 23 year old, I found this message empowering for a woman. The better, uh, uh, all right. As a person who raised, uh, who was raised, still being raised, in Balkan, in the Bal Balkan region, um, in a village with cows, chickens, farms, I agree with everything that you say, bro. Living in a village is the best for you. Um, you are not bombarded with media from advertisements, um, and you know real life values. Keep changing. Uh, keep making a change, Hamza. You will do it. We all will do it. Interesting. This is the kind of talk our dad should have had with us, but this clearly indicates how we're brainwashed by the society and fathers are pushed away from kids that we need so much of this content. This guy is fulfilling the role of our dad. Inch <laughs> Yo, the dick eating is crazy. <laughs> I fuck with Hamza heavy. He's more of like a spiritual leader. Um, but... Bro, I'm not calling you my dad, bro. <laughs> the dick eating is crazy. Um, anyways, that's the end of that. Um, YouTube, if you're watching, click the like button. Uh, I fuck with him. It's still heavy. Um, I just think this video was not meant for a nigga like me. Uh, let's see.